So, I'm going to review the Total 90 Laser 3 Kangaroo Leather because I've had them for quite a long time. The first thing I want to start out with is break-in time. It's very short. The shoes are leather, excluding the synthetic part right along here. And the sole of the shoe on the inside is very soft. It, the upper is extremely soft, kangaroo leather all around, except for on this side right here, which I had no problems with. But it was over overall, it was probably one of the most comfortable shoes I've ever worn. I never had any problems with these, and they were pretty comfortable. The sole is nice and soft, but they, I mean, it does sacrifice for the weight, them being extremely comfortable. There is no stud pressure at all. The bottom is really, it's really well put together. It's, it's pretty muddy, but yeah, it's the studs around them, the thickness of the TPU or whatever, I'm not sure what material it is, it slowly gets uh, thicker, reducing stud pressure. Okay, so the next thing, which most people probably want to know, is are they good for shooting? They have all this technology junk all over them. Are they good for shooting? Well, I'd say that I definitely felt this nice, just kind of, the connection with a shot feels really great when you're driving a ball with uh, these um, uh, pods or whatever. I think it felt pretty great. And these um, slurp fins down here do help you get some sort of grip on the ball, but they tend to fall off. I mean, I've had these for a pretty long time and some of them just kinda got chopped off and these pods right here were starting to come off so I would say that they're better for shooting than the average boot these um these fins here I mean they can help for for um inside curving and knuckling. I mean, people say that it doesn't that like it doesn't make a difference and stuff. I mean, they don't really care. The shoe is a shoe, but I mean, if you feel it, it is rough and it does give you quite a bit of grip. With a shoe like this, with all this uh, uh, technology, if you will, it puts you further away from the ball. I mean, if you feel how thick the shoe is up here it's there's there's quite a bit of distance but that's that's really not the bad part that's I don't mind that it's it's all fine but these just put you far away from the ball I mean they stick out quite a bit compared to a shoe like the Vapor I'd say that the vapor is really refreshing to wear because it is so thin and it puts you just that much closer to the ball. Now I'm going to talk about the traction and just the general cutting and turning and sprinting and accelerating of being in a game. I would say that these have pretty good traction and they're pretty flexible. They flex in a really nice spot right here underneath the ball of your foot where you would expect for a shoe to be flexing. They're heavy, kind of. But I would say that the traction, the traction is great. It's just, I don't know, slightly clumsy with, with um, the stud system pretty much. 
and it is it isn't the most flexible shoe because the sole is pretty thick. Now I would say that the bottom line of this shoe is that overall, pretty much my opinion of it is that it's good for shooting and it's really comfortable, but it's not the best shoe for an overall game. I mean, how much how much are you really going to be shooting in a game? And then think of how much you're going to be running, sprinting, cutting, controlling passes. And that's pretty much all there is to it. Comfortable, good for shooting, not too great for having the game.